Hi, I'm Pete May from Green Biz, and here with, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna need some help on pronouncing. Let me see if I pronounce your name right. Sven Atle Hagaset. That's pretty that right? good. That's okay. pretty good. Uh, Chief Sales Officer for Green Mountain uh, out of Norway. So uh, delighted to have you here with us. I think a lot of our um, a lot of our audience out there may not know about Green Mountain. Tell us about who is Green Mountain. Yeah, so and what brings you from Norway to, uh, to uh, America? More than happy to do yeah. so. Yeah, so Green Mountain data centers. Yeah. So we build and operate data centers. We're so not you green. don't do coffee? No you coffee, don't do, no uh, energy. Okay. Well, we do energy, yeah. but it's part right. of the data center <laughs> right. delivery. So right. we, uh, we're based out of Norway where we have three different data centers, mm -hmm. uh, all kind of uh, state-of-the-art data center, highly energy efficient. Uh, carbon neutral uh, mm. data centers. So the reason why I am in here is to learn more about the kind of the sustainability aspect or uh, discussions. Um, live I live in Toronto. I'm addressing. Oh, you live in. I live in Toronto. Oh, yeah. wow. Uh, so addressing uh, Northern American clients who have data center needs in in Europe. Yeah, and you know we're here in Silicon Valley. I guess within uh, 50 miles of here. You know, Salesforce, Google, Facebook, others. Um, you got a lot of a lot of that uh, a lot of that sources here. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. we see a, a huge kind of trend for North American clients, kind of uh, uh, expanding their data center capacity mm -hmm. in Europe. And when they do that, especially the larger cloud providers, they are looking for uh, carbon neutral or uh, data centers uh, fueled by renewable power. Right. And Norway are fortunate to have now 99% renewable power. Yeah, and that's and so abundance of hydro, or what's that? Yes, what's that mainly, like? mainly yeah. hydro. So it's about 96% hydro and 3% wind, and uh -huh. then a little bit of uh, everything yeah. else, but, right. uh, but, uh, but mainly hydro. So somebody was kind of smart 120 years ago starting to build, uh, mm -hmm. build uh, hydroelectric uh, plants. And the way that we do that in Norway as well is Norway is very, very water rich. Mm. It's cold and wet in Norway. Yeah. So not a kind of a tourist right. ad, but it's right. uh, for data center development, that's kind of know, fantastic. With global warming, that sounds pretty <laughs> yeah. good to me. Actually. So very, very water rich. So we typically don't need to dam up mm. buildings. We typically drill to the bottom of the, the natural water reservoirs mm. and then bring the water down in tunnels inside the mountains. So the yeah. minimal impact to the to and the so that way before you're talking about the you know the, how you utilize the natural surroundings is yeah. that what you meant by that yeah that's one of one of the things that we are doing right so being uh, nate uh, or water rich we use that to of course get hydroelectric power but we also use that to deliver high uh, or uh, highly energy efficient data centers so. Mm. The, like I mentioned, Norway is wet and cold. Yeah. So for a data center, then that means that you can use the natural air on the yeah. outside to cool the data center on the inside. And we've also done some innovations in using the fjord on the outside of our data center. So we're, by using the gravity of the water, we're getting the water inside the data center. And then we use just sm two small pumps through almost like a siphon, right? When you uh, try to steal uh, steel gas yeah, when you were right. younger, I, I never did, I never did <laughs> me that. Me neither, yeah. but I heard right. about it. Right. right. Uh, so, so it's uh, so so that kind of innovation to to get a very very highly energy efficient data centers. We use about three kilowatts of power to get wow. the equivalent of a thousand kilowatts of cooling. Yeah. So yeah. that's the world's most energy efficient cooling system. So we've we've seen energy loads with our customers, industrial loads, fairly stable, data center loads just continue to, to grow and grow. Um, tell us about what, what does the future look like for, uh, for specifically for, uh, for Green Mountain and for um, just data center use in general. Where do you think it's going? I think data center use is just going to continue to, to grow. Uh, it's more and more interconnected devices, autonomous driving. Right. You take more and more photos and videos that all of right. that needs to, it's not really in the cloud, it's yeah. actually residing in a data center, right? So the, the need for data centers are just going to continue to, to grow. Now uh, data center use about 2% of the total energy production in the world. Right. So being able to deliver that in a sustainable way is, is going to be important. Yeah. And we're so fortunate that we are one of the I would say one of the few that can deliver 100% carbon neutral data centers. Yeah. Um, and that, so the, the interest uh, towards sustainability is just continuing to grow. So yeah. Three years ago when I started, or three, four years ago when I started in Green Mountain, um, uh, sustainability was kind of nice to have. 
Yeah. They'll take it if they could get it. Yeah. Now it's the essential. it's the essential. We just signed a large agreement with the Volkswagen Group. Yeah. Uh, and sustainability was their major uh, decision criteria. Wow. If it hadn't been carbon neutral, they would have gone somewhere else. Well, that's great. Well, I've traveled a little bit in Scandinavia. Never been to Norway, but um, I'd like to come and, and visit you guys More in the welcome. future. Sounds like you're working on inter interesting stuff. Sven from Green Mountain, pleasure having you here. Thank you very much. Thanks.